Hey everyone, it's Even Bigger Jono. Well, here we go. We're starting Crash Bandicoot 2 now that we finished Crash 1 a couple of days ago. So, here we are finally at the sequel to Crash 1 that came out a year later. So, and there are a lot of improvements in this game as well. So, personally, I was. I, I like Crash 1, but, like, in the context of the series, I don't think it was that great of a game. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I really liked it though, but. Anyway, we're starting off here with. New game in Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back. Cortex Strikes Back. Alright, let's go ahead and start a new game. Here we go. Small cutscene coming up. You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Alright, so we get to take control of Crash now, so obviously the game was a lot different than Crash 1, kinda. We can now do uh, crouch jumps and all that kind of stuff, we can skid, we can belly flop, it's way different to Crash 2, oh uh, Crash 1 I mean. Uh, so let's go, let's go ahead and make our way through here. Uh, I'm not getting any lives or anything, like I said, same thing with Crash 1, I don't really need them. Um, this is kind of just like a demo kind of area, and you make your way through here. To the warp room for the main story to start. So once it loads into there, we'll be able to finally get this game started. Cortex talks to us every now and then via holographic messages. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Alright, so this game's objective is a little bit different to Crash 1. And this, uh, you have a, a hub instead of a, uh, like, islands that you're on and things like that. But the games are still... The location of the games are still on the island, those. Or the islands, I should say, from Crash 1. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a hub, there are, there's a warp room, you can choose from five levels in each warp, or five stages in each warp, each warp room, there are five levels in the warp room. So 25 stages all up, and there are two secret stages as well that we need to get into. But anyway, there are crystals we need to get, if I pause the game here, you can see we need 25 crystals in this game, and 42 gems to 100% complete it. So let's go ahead and start off with Turtle Woods. Uh, there are a couple of levels in here where to get certain gems require certain conditions to be met. For example, in Turtle Woods right here, we need to get a blue gem, and by doing that, we've got to miss every single box in the level. Bizarre, right? You would think that, oh, this is Crash Bandicoot, you got to get every box to get a gem. Well, no. This is one of those occasions where you don't need a box, uh, need to get boxes to get those gems. Let's get our first one through to the game. Congratulations to us. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and make our way through here. And, uh, guess what? In this game, you're allowed to die because checkpoint save box counts. And you don't need to perfect the level anymore to get the box gem in it. You can die as many times as you like. It doesn't matter. You can just... Yeah. The checkpoints save the boxes. They save your progress throughout the level. So, yeah, you can die a hundred times. Not that you can die a hundred times because you don't have a map. Well, you can, actually. Uh, what am I saying? Um, you can die... Yeah. Up to a hundred times, I guess, but unless you have, unless you're, well, there is a glitch where you can get more than a hundred lives, but unless you do that, you can't do that, then, 
Uh, yeah, so you can die as many times as you like, up to 100, and you'll be able to get the gem still. But yeah, the crystal is found somewhere within the level, as you would have seen just then. We'll get this blue gem just here, and then we'll death warp back to the beginning of the stage. Alright, now we can go ahead and get the boxes. So yeah, th the first level is the only one where you, you really need to do what I just did. Um, in regards to like missing boxes and then going all the way back through and getting all the boxes. So it's kind of weird the way they do that, but tell you what. And this secret passage area down here where, where I just belly flopped, I could not work that out as a kid. I was like, why am I still missing so many boxes in this stage? Like... Yeah, it took my dad and I uh, weeks to work that out, actually. Actually, it might have even been my mum that worked that out, I don't really know. Yeah, we used to play Crash Bandicoot as a family unit back when I was like six or seven years old. It was kind of crazy. Crazy in like a good sense, like, you know, like... It was a lot of fun, is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just go down here and break these. And we'll go for this bird here, he's gonna do that, but that's okay. I'll just glitch high jump up to the top up here. Glitch high jumping is uh, a cool thing you can do if you press... Uh, if you spin at the same time that you do a crouch jump, you can jump higher. So, well, a lot higher than you normally could. Like, that's a normal crouch jump. And if you spin, if you do a spin and crouch jump, you jump way higher, as you can see. Alright, and bonus rounds, uh, they're not optional in this. If there is a bonus round in the level, you must do it to get the box gem. Uh, unlike Crash 1, where the bonus rounds were optional, you only had to do them if you really wanted to save the game. Oh. But in this, in this game, if there is a bonus round on the level, you have to do it, and you can only do it once. Uh, if you miss it, you have to, uh, well, if you miss the box in there or something like that, you have to leave the stage and go back into it, so... That's the only downside to the bonus rounds in this game, I guess. Alright, let's just glitch high jump out of here. Uh, Crash can actually jump higher and further in the European and Australian versions of the game. I don't know why, but it sucks to be Americans playing this game, because he can't jump or run as far- I mean, jump as far or as long uh, as the American version, and I don't know why that is. That's a really bizarre design choice to have uh, as a difference between each version of the game, but whatever. Alright, so first two gems and crystal uh, of the game. Yeah, Crash will now do a dance uh, whenever you get a gem. You can skip that though. But anyway, Cortex will talk to us again. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. What I want to know is how the hell did Coco know we're in here? That's bizarre. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the second level, which is Snowgo. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that, that sucked. <laughs> wow, what the hell? <laughs> oh man, it's starting. Um, that was an awful start. I tried to do like a speed run start, because I've actually, I've sped run this game before, and I've been able to perfect that. For some reason I couldn't do it just then. But anyway, yeah, this is a snow level. There are... Uh, bizarre ice physics in this game. Uh, they're okay, but they're not perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and speed through this part here. What I'm doing right here is called it's called a uh, a, a fast slide, which is where you let go of the directional pad as you slide and spin. You can get that red gem uh, by doing that, um, but normally to get the red gem, you have to unlock a uh, a secret passage. We still have to anyway to complete the game to get 100%, otherwise we, we won't be able to 100% it. Um, but that's basically just a speedrun tactic. Um, I normally wouldn't do that in a Let's Play, but I'm doing it just because I like to be a show-off in this game, because it's 
one of my favorite games and I like to just show off skills, I guess. It's kind of one of those things. <laughs> Alright. That right there was a Nitro Detonator box. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a Nitro is, I feel sorry for you. Um, Nitro are those green green boxes that kind of resemble TNTs, but they're not really TNTs. They blow up. Wow. Well, they blow up on the on the, on the touch instead of having a, a countdown. Uh, and obviously, obviously, because of that, you can't touch the TNTs. You have to. I mean, touch the Nitro. Sorry, you have to uh, blow them up via a nitro detonator, uh, or else you'll die, basically. Alright, so that's the second level of Crash 2 done. I think we'll end the video there, though. It's more of an introductory video. I don't really want to get too far in this video and uh, have no content for the rest of it. So, I think there's actually a small cutscene coming up, and then we'll just end the video there. It'll be Cortex or Embryo. I think it'll be Embryo, actually. Yes. So, you are helping Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> If the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. So, uh... Is Cortex really a good guy this time? No, probably not. Anyway, next time on Crash 2, we'll check out Hang 8, The Pits, and Crash Dash. See you guys then.